Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to repaste your graphics card. Or in other words, I'll reapply the thermal paste that goes in between the heatsink and the actual um, graphics card chip itself. Um, so there may be a couple of reasons why you would want to do this. Maybe your graphics card temperatures are getting a bit out of hand, or you just want to give your graphics card a general, uh, general clean. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is ground yourself. So touch a metal object that is touching the ground and this will dissipate any static electricity. So this is on a table with metal legs. So I'm just going to touch one of the metal legs um, and that will get rid of all my static electricity. Um, especially if you're in a house that has carpets, you're going to want to do this. <coughs> so once you've done that, we'll flip the card over and on pretty much every card there are four main screws on the back here that fasten the heatsink down. So we're going to want to unscrew those. So find the appropriate screwdriver and unscrew these. Okay, now that we've done that, I believe that is all that we need, and then just try and wiggle this around a bit, try and get it off. Sometimes there's screws um, along here as well, but in our case there aren't any, it just depends on the size of the heat sink that you have. Um, so this one doesn't seem to want to come off which is probably because it's pretty old. There we go. So just give it a bit of a wiggle and it should come off pretty easily. So there we go, we've got the die of the chip. We've got the heat sink here, both of which seem to be um, pretty dried out. You can actually, you can't really see it, but you can read the writing from the chip. That's how old uh, this paste is. So the next thing you want to, gonna, you're going to want to do is get a tissue or some other form of paper, get some el some isopropyl alcohol or something like that to clean the thermal paste off. Okay, so we're going to be using some of this mineral turpentine um, or terps. You can even use meths as well if you want to. So I'll put a tiny little bit into this tissue like that and give this a good clean, like so. Probably be better to use something like a cloth or even coffee paper. Um, but I don't have any of those um, handy at the moment, so I'll just use this. go that's done so now we'll do the same thing with the actual CPU with the graphics card cooler itself we'll put some more of this onto a tissue chuck it on here and get this stuff off And there we have it. Just fix the camera. Now we have cleaned all of that off, and I'll get a cloth and clean off any residue uh, tabs that was on there already. And same thing here as well. As you can see, there's a fair bit of dust as well. So I'm going to grab. Um, another cloth and I'm going to wipe that dust away. Obviously you'll probably want to do a better, more thorough job than this. Um, 
this is just a spare graphics card of mine, so I'm not going to go too overboard, but obviously you'd probably want to maybe get a dampish cloth, nothing too wet, so that'll short anything out. Um, and just give it a good, good clean. It's not too bad. So now that we've done that, only thing to do now is to reapply the paste. So you can use normal CPU paste. Uh, I'm going to be using some Arctic Silver. Um, for those of you who don't know, that's a pretty decent brand. Um, so this should keep the graphics card nice and cool. So we'll put a tiny little amount in the middle. Probably about that size. Maybe a bit smaller than a grain of rice. Because obviously we don't want to have too much on here. So that when the heatsink gets put back on, um, it, it spreads too far. So, um, one other thing that you want to check when you take your um, heatsink off is a lot of times, especially with high-end graphics cards, they actually have thermal pads on these VRMs and memory modules. Um, so these, you can take them off if you want to, you can replace them, um, but I'll recommend just leaving them on there. Um, they're fine, they don't re they're not going to um, like deteriorate or anything. Just leave them on there and they'll be fine for when you put your graphic, put your um, heatsink back on. So now we'll chuck this thing back on. Which way it went around this way. Yeah, just remember which way it actually went around. Um, <clears throat> like that. Position it over the top. And then we'll flip this over. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put these screws back in. And then we will be done. Alright, there we go. So you want to put back all the screws that you've taken out so far. Um, make sure that it's all properly attached, give it a bit of a wiggle, see that it's properly attached. And then the most important thing is remember to put your fan connector back in because um, if you don't you could very well end up just have to blow some dirt out of there um, you could very well end up with a dead graphics card because of overheating which is the very thing that you may have decided to repaste your graphics card for so once you put that all back in um, that is ready to go now we can go chuck in the computer um, and get ready for the brand new cool temperatures. So thanks for watching guys, um, tune in next time and I'll see you later.